This is the third of our videos on Mutual TLS, MTLS, and today we'll, we'll actually write a client using the Go programming language that uses MTLS. So what is Go? Go is a statically typed compiled programming language originally designed at Google. It's known for its simplicity, efficiency, and ease of use, and it's very often used in the cloud for building web servers, APIs, and command line tools. So let's get started. First, let's set up our environment and we will follow <clears throat> um, basically the same flow that we did in a previous video on the Mac OS keychain. Um, so we will run uh, gen generate certs. We will generate all the certificates we need then we will import them into the keychain and we need to run this with sudo they're imported next we will uh, run our two servers we will run our tls server and our mtls server I'm using Docker container, so those two servers are running. And so let's get back to the previous screen where we saw some Go code. So this is a basic HTTP client in Go. Uh, we're gonna use the flags to grab a URL value uh, from the command line. Then here's we create the basic HTTP client without uh, any additional options. And then we'll use that client to grab the path that we passed in on the command line. Um, and we'll defer closing the body. And this little thing here is just, we're explicitly ignoring the error that this method returns. So that's why this is there. Uh, we'll read in the response body and print it out. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, so uh, go run client.go and our uh, local host 8888 hello world txt so as you notice we're not passing any certificates to the client and and we are doing hitting an https connection which requires a certificate of course we uh didn't pass the URL option, dash, dash, URL. We rerun this and we get the expected TLS hello world. So let's try to hit the MTLS one. We try to run it and we get an error. No required SSL certificate was sent. And down here you see TLS, the TLS server was hit. It returned to 200, but MTLS return to 400. So what does this mean? Well, basically just like curl looks like the ordinary TLS that just needs a uh, certificate authority to verify the server's certificate is integrated with the Go libraries, but the mutual TLS flow that requires the additional step of the client sending back its own certificate is not supported out of the box. So how can we make get this working? Well, the most straightforward way to get it working is simply to give give um, our client the client um, the client certificate. So we modify the previous code. We add the client certificate and the client key on the command line, and we load the certificate using this uh, this command, the TLS a load key pair command. And then in the TLS client configs, we provide that certificate uh, that was loaded. So let's try doing that. So instead of client go, this file is now called client MTLS. Is that right? Just double checking. Okay. And then we need to pass it the cert and the key. Okay. There's that cert, cert client CRT dash dash a uh, key certs client key let's run this 
Okay, and we've got the expected response. So this worked. However, we're passing this in the command line, right? And for security reasons, we do not want our key to be on the file system. Our eventual goal here is to get these values out of the system key store, like the macOS keychain. Um, so what is the next step to get to getting there? Well, the next step is going to be customizing this certificate um, using the uh, signer interface, using a custom signer interface. Um, so next step, we'll, uh, we'll create a basically a custom certificate that we pass down here. And um, that will pave the road for actually using uh, the Mac OS keychain or the Windows um, certificate store. And we'll cover that in our next video.